طلاب العربية طالبات العربية أهلا وسهلا بكم من جديد في الدرس السابع من المنحة ودرسنا اليوم هو الجمع يعني تبلور الجمع في العربية من نوعين الجمع السالم وجمع التكسير يعني regular plural and irregular plural now under the regular plural of course we have both genders right مذكر ومؤنث and remember we talked about المذكر والمؤنث masculine and feminine so في المذكر if you have a regular what happens is you can use the word in the singular and then you add أونا or إينا at the end once again when أونا and when إينا depends on the function of the word in the sentence now look at the example we have موظفونا or موظفين it means plural masculine employees المؤنث you use the feminine here with alif and ta مفتوحة at the end and you add it to the singular so موظفاتن is the feminine regular plural that you have now the irregular plurals as in English you have many words like mouse mice and goose geese Arabic has quite a number of words where the change doesn't happen at the end of the word but rather happens inside the word so the word talib gives us طلابٌ وكتاب gives us كتبٌ ومدرسةٌ gives us مدارسُ جمع الصفة now let's take a look at the plural of the adjectives and how they behave they are in two different categories عاقلٌ وغير عاقل العاقل هو human plurals in general وغير عاقل non-human plurals and under العاقل once again you have السالم where you have جمع التكسيد so في المذكر what happens here is موظفون مجتهدون so what happened is both the noun and the adjective are regular and having the واو نون at the end or موظفين مجتهدين and they agree as you see مدرسون سوريون ومدرسين سوريين بالنسبة للمؤنث as for the feminine look and you will see also an agreement between the noun and also the adjective موظفات مجتهدات ومدرسات سوريات بالنسبة لجمع التكسير you will see that a sifa also has an irregular plural some adjectives in Arabic have an irregular plural as well طلاب جدد we cannot say جديدون in this case because it is an irregular adjective. أطفال صغار from صغير. So we cannot say صغيرون or صغيرين but we will use صغار instead. Now let's move to غير العاقل non-human plurals. Non-human plurals with very few exceptions are treated as feminine singular. مفرد مؤنث. So, you're talking about many books, you say كتب كثيرة So, notice that كثيرة is not plural here, it's staying in the feminine and the singular because كتب is غير عاقل جامعات كبيرة for big universities Now, there are a few exceptions to this rule when, for example, you would like to personify, you know, such things القرآن says والعاديات ضبحا فالموريات قطحا and now العاديات is used here to describe horses that are non-human but القرآن treated them as a feminine plural this is personification that can happen in this case أمثلة من جمع التكسير في الصفة we would like to leave you with some examples of how some adjectives have an irregular plural and these are very common adjectives as you see كبير كبار صغير صغار طويل 
طوال وقصير قصار look at this category sort of sounds alike they have the same pattern another possible pattern is ذكي اذكياء وغبي اغبياء وقوي اقوياء وغني اغنياء these words are very specific in that they do not take tanween at the end and that's another rule that we will talk about later another form is ضعيف ضعفاء وفقير فقراء ولطيف لطفاء وسعيد سعداء another big exception is عربي which has the plural of عرب شكرا جزيلا على متابعتكم مرة أخرى وأراكم إن شاء الله في الدرس القادم